All right, so I'm going to be switching my name on the channel from Gooey Duck to Duck Buddy News here soon. And I stopped downtown because I saw a police officer across the street over there with a guy in handcuffs on the ground and I didn't get there soon enough to really see anything. So I figured while I was here, I might do an impromptu First Amendment audit on the Olympia Transit Center. So you never know what could happen. But first I'm going to finish this cigarette before I go on the property because it is a non-smoking, you know, it's a smoke-free area, smoke-free campus. Let's get a shot of the flag up there. See, they come in from that way, exit this way. Lots of bus areas back there. I'll go check them out in a minute. Here's the inside view. Cool little windows up there. Here's all the different guides for transit stuffs. Come in here to buy all your tickets and monthly passes and all that good stuff. And here's a big map of most of their routes. It's a little little pass. Let's see if I can get a good shot here. Back up a foot. There we go. There we go. Got these little iron things here. All the different depots for the buses. Little sitting areas for people. Little birdie up there. Little birdie. Can I help you? Oh no, I'm fine. Is this for your personal? Huh? Is this for your personal? Excuse me? Is this for your personal use? Um, yes. Okay. Why? Some people don't want to be taking photographs taken out here. Well, isn't this a public place? Mm, this is private property. I thought this was a city-owned no, piece of land for the no. inner city this transit a, center. This is a non-profit organization. Okay. Yeah. So it's not open to the public? It's public access. Public access only. Yeah. So 
Do you have any posted rules saying you can't <coughs> film or photograph here? Well, if it's for commercial use, you have to have a permit from them to do it. If it's private, you can take your own pictures. Hmm. A lot of people out here don't like to have their photographs taken, that's why. Oh, well... All right, would it be better if I just stood out at the sidewalk then? If you want to, yeah. Okay, and what's your name? I'm um, Officer Rainey, it's right Officer there. Officer Rainey, okay. okay. Badge number 810, thank you. I'll have to research this a little bit more, but I'm pretty sure public access means that it's publicly accessible to film in the state of Washington, so. I think I'll just stand out here for a bit and film whatever I can see. I'll just film the flag for a bit. I don't care. Let's see. Nope, can't see the flag from here. Oh. Because in Washington, every place that is considered publicly accessible, public access is allowed to be filmed. So I'm a little confused as to why this guy here in the office or the security guy here thinks that you can't film on publicly accessible property. That's a U.S. postal box, so if it's on private property, then I mean, I don't get that. I don't understand that. All right, that guy's moved. Maybe I can get the time that they're open. No? Can't see it on the door? Too many reflections, huh? I guess not. Oh, there's the security guy. Yeah, see, under RCW 66.04.011, oh, sorry, 66.04.010, a public place includes garages and filling stations, which are open to and generally used by the public, <laughs> railroad trains, stages, and other public conveyances of all kinds and character and the depots and waiting rooms used in conjunction there within which are open to use and access by the public so i guess technically legally i am allowed to go film on that property unless it is otherwise posted with an rcw saying that i cannot film there so i think i'm going to go back on here in a moment Actually, first I'm going to go chat with the security guy.
Yeah. <laughs> see what he smokes a cigar. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Are you aware that um, this is a publicly accessible place? Under RCW? I believe he, he, he does not choose to involve in camera interviews. Sorry, ma'am. Okay, well, according to the RCW, this is a publicly accessible place. According to RCW 12, I declare that the camera is unnecessary. <laughs> Alright, that might be a, your opinion. Have a good day, ma'am. But, you know, it's a public place for transportation used by the public, open to the public. So anything you can see in the state of Washington from a public place, open to the public, you can go and film. Yes? Actually, I came in to ask a question. I, I came to ask a question about the policies. I came to ask a question about the policies. Yes. Do you have a copy of this policy that I can look at? Right here? On which guide? Which which guide are you talking about? The transit guide. Okay. The transit guide, page six. I will check this out real quick. Using profane language, smoking, crossing in front of bus, loitering or panhandling, sleeping lying down, refusing to move from seats, refusing to collapse stroller, not safely securing items, violating federal and municipal laws, bringing animals on the bus. When the bus is full, please share your seat. So according to the page six that they referred me to, it says nothing about photographing or videography on the property or in its areas. So this guy is trying to make up policy. All right. Well, since it's not technically against their policy and they haven't referred me to a policy or shown me a law or anything, I will continue walking around. I'm 
I'm back on the sidewalk. I have left. Didn't want to get the kids walking by or anything. Because, you know, keep a bit weird. Other depots here. Ooh, a supervisor, huh? Well, here comes the old guy. Probably here to say she was on the property. She was filming and, I, and she went in to ask about the policy. Just say no. People don't feel comfortable being recorded while on the property, yet they have cameras. So clearly you should know that you are being recorded at all times if you come onto this property or even if you walk by this property because they have the right to do so. Duck Buddy News out here at the Olympia Transit Center. Yeah, I'm trying that on. I'm changing the name of the channel from Joey Duck Media to Duck Buddy News. And I will explain that in a future video. So look forward to that. against policy delay. Doesn't look like they're gonna come out to me, but I would like to go back in and ask them about their policy and if they could show that to me. Oh, now he's gonna go in to wrap her. Since the supervisor is here, I'm going to walk over and ask the supervisor, speak to the supervisor and ask them to show me the policy that says you cannot film or photograph on this property. Another camera. Another camera. Here, I'll point it down since these ladies don't like being on the camera, I'll point it down.
opening up the page search. Just for context, this is what he referred me to, this page here. Writer Rules. This is the page six that he referred me to as to why I'm not allowed to film on this property, yet there is nothing there. Oh. And I'm here to clarify. Hello. What are you cl clarifying? I'm sorry. Oh, he, the security guard, can yeah. I get your name, sir? Yeah, Mike. Hi, Mike. Um, the security guard here referred me to page six here about the policy about no filming or photography on the property because he said it was against policy and I asked him to clarify. And it doesn't say anything on this page about filming or photographing on this property. And in the state of Washington, according to the RCW, this is a public place where it's accessible by the public, mm -hmm. all lobbies and depots and carriages and whatnot, transportation. Okay. So I was just trying to come in and clarify, and earlier she had an issue, this lady here had an issue being on camera, and that's why I had the camera pointed down this time. Okay, yeah, that's so, what I was going to get, appreciate, you know, because some people yeah, do I get got, to you know, you know, I didn't um, want to, like, put yeah. them on camera. They didn't want to be on camera, you yeah. know, they're in public, I, you know, it may be legal for me to do so, but okay. it's a jerk move. Um, yeah, and that's all we're asking. Just don't, because you know, some of them are, uh, don't want to be videotaped, and you yeah. can understand that, you know. Yeah. And the other thing I think I'll say is, that, you know, we have two smoking areas too. If you, there's one here. Oh, well, I was is out it? on the sidewalk. Yeah. Okay. And then, and then there's one over there. Just you know, that's the way we do have two two different smoking areas. We try to. Okay. You know, like right over here, it's, you know, it looks like public property, but it's still our property, and we used to tell them to go to the sidewalk. You know, we well, just ask. I you know. know, I know. Car, you know, just, it's a federal I, law. You know, so we got to make sure. No, I understand. Um, yeah. Also. The other security guard, I saw him leave campus to smoke a cigarette on a public utility while on the clock. Is that allowed or well, there's, there's you know two smoking areas. Break? Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, he, we let him have a break. Just like our driver right there, he has a break right now, so we let him to go out there okay, and smoke. Okay, because I just saw him smoking like 15 minutes earlier on this side, so it would beg the question, why was he taking two smoke breaks in a 20-minute period? Yeah, that, that we'd have to look okay. into, you know. So, as far as I know, it's not illegal to film on this property. No, as long as you're not making me discomfort, you know, that's what we're looking at. Okay, it's not like I'm focusing in on people uh, we, Yeah, exactly. If you, if you did, we'd prefer that you yeah. ask permission. You know, is it okay if I videotape you? You know, if most of the people do videotape. I know videotape. you prefer that, and I, I know the state laws, and I know you'd prefer that, and I know, you know, yeah, I, I know that I should, you know. Yeah. I'm not going to be a jerk about it okay. or anything. I was so. just, it was impromptu. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean to... Okay. Come in here and yeah, because normally we do get videotape like different commercials and mm -hmm. you know stuff like that, like Evergreen. Mm -hmm. If they want to come videotape, they usually go through like our marketing department and get permission. Like they let us know, all right, on Friday at two o'clock, we're having a film crew come down between the hours of two to four to videotape. You know, they okay. know the area that we're we're gonna let them videotape and everything. And that's just how we usually arrange it, it's just so everybody knows about it and is accustomed to it. Okay. No, you know I, mean? I understand. You know, but, yeah, you know. it's just it just kind of helps us out that way. Yeah, but I mean, I shouldn't just, have to check in as a citizen to photograph on this property when it's in use by the public in public spaces. Okay. I'm just yeah. yeah and, and, like I'm again, not all our rules are we're, it, yeah. As long know. as we don't, we just want to make anybody discomfort. You know. We, okay. You know, we're, we're transient. We're trying to move people from A to B. And, you know, yeah. No, I get that. Safe, you know, on no, time. And, I get that. I'm not here yeah. to do anything nefarious or okay. do any harm to anybody or anything like that. Okay or harass anyone. I'm just, yeah. I was just kind of, originally I saw a person across the street in handcuffs with a cop and I was going to film that. And uh -huh. then I was like, well, I'll just walk around here and get some bus info. Okay. And then the security guard approached me and mm -hmm. I no, just it's, it's, stuck it's around because I stuck here. to my we guns. Got, we got all kinds of people, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now I remember when it was first built, you know, okay. native Olympian, born and raised. Yeah, but, uh, it's, it's, yeah, we're just asking just to make me come for, you know, because they have the blinds closed, you know. That's what we're asking. Okay. If you're going to videotape anybody in particular, we just ask if you call them courtesy of, may, okay. I, may I videotape you if it's okay? All right. Okay. Well, um, if you'd like to view the video of this incident, um, it'll be online, Duck Buddy News. I'm changing the name from Gooey Duck Media on YouTube.
Okay. Gooey duck buddy. Gooey duck. Okay, so are you an evergreen? No. Alumni? Oh no. no. Okay. I just figured gooey duck because it was pretty local. It's okay. native to South Sound only mm -hmm. in the world, so okay. it would be a little local. But people are having an issue spelling the name, so <laughs> I'm going to name it Duck Buddy because that's a little more personal towards me and stories in my life. Okay. So, but yeah, it'll be up there probably in the next week. Okay, good. There deal. was nothing really negative or bad. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, he didn't assault me or anything, so there wasn't that. No, no. But um, he did try to push off personal policy as policy and law. Yeah. So, he, yeah. but um, I might continue to get all the info on the routes real quick. Okay. And then head on out. All right. Is there anything you want from me? Any questions about the routes or anything? No, no. I'm good. I was okay. just trying to do that a little bit ago. And mm -hmm. Did you got see, this is the most our local service here, and then the, the Bay M over there okay. goes to Tacoma. And this is like our Aberdeen Mason area. Okay. So you'll see your different buses there, you know. Yeah, I've seen that go out to Mason County and... Yeah, Aberdeen, yeah. Yeah. So we all work together and try to help each other out. Right on. All right. All right. Well, thank you for being, okay. being very cordial. What was your name again? Mike. Mike, it was a pleasure to meet nice you, Mike. Nice to you. Okay. Again, just, please just leave them alone, okay? Okay. Yeah, Let no. them do their job. They, they go, no, they I, get I didn't mean questions. to come up on them earlier. I was okay. just trying to clarify the policy. And it was honestly, it was pointed down at the counter. Okay, so yeah. it was like, you know, I, I didn't want to be about it. Okay, yeah. no, that's perfect. Yeah. So, okay, yeah. thank you very much. No, no, thank you, you have a lovely rest of your day. All right, you, you. So there you have it. It is not illegal to film on this property. Regardless of what the security guard tells you. You know what? All the info that you really want on this place, you can find out online. I will look for something that has the address. If you'd like more information about Olympia Inner City Transit, you can go to www.innercitytransit.com or call 360-786-1881. Thank you.